right, it's Saturday morning, town day. And uh, to get an early start on town day and laundry, we, uh, we just eat breakfast in town. I know it's bad. So we brought the kids to the park. We're jumping out and eating because we have this new rule of no eating in the van. Even though we have not been eating in the van and the flies are still bad, but all the locals around here say, if you live around the cows, you're going to have flies in your vehicle. So, here we are. Look how beautiful and green everything is. Hi, princess. All right. Yep, awesome. I know nobody matches. These are actually their pajamas, but we left them in it so they'll be comfortable for car day. Okay, so I know there are people out there that do this all the time and that's totally fine for you, but for us, we're about to do something extremely uncomfortable. But it's going to be well worth it, right? I think so. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go in a liquor store because we need some uh, some good vodka to make homemade um, Either vanilla extract. Organic. Some, something that's organic or non-GMO or something along those lines, but every liquor store in town is like a, well, it's a liquor store. And you may go into them all the time, it's not for me. No. I wish uh, Walmart carried it. Alright, so that was the first fail. That liquor store did not have any organic or non-GMO vodka options. I, I, after I gave up looking, I asked the lady at the front desk and she said, uh, I said, I, I'm looking for like an organic or non-GMO vodka. And she said, well, I, I don't know where they, where do they free range the vodka? So, hilarious. that was funny um, and ignorant at the same time. So anyway, we're gonna look for another one. Maybe we should just like, sit. we need to start our own like moonshot operation, I guess. Sit down and call them all so we don't have to go inside. Oh no, I want to go inside. I want to see you. Are you joking? Interesting people. All right, so that liquor store had, um, it's definitely a lot pricier than what I was uh, thinking, but when it comes to terms of the last organic vodka that I bought from, I think it was back when we were ordering from Azure when we were in Florida. No, organic um, vanilla extract. Did I say that? No, you said or a vodka. Okay, organic vanilla extract. extract. We ordered a bottle that was probably like 18 ounces. Yeah, it was like about that big, about that big around. And I want to say it was probably 15 to 20 dollars. Yeah. About 20 from Missouri, plus you have to pay like the shipping thing. So this is gonna make a lot more for oh, a lot yeah. less. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, with organic, you got you kind of get, you know, messed up mentally price-wise when you're so used to conventional. And like we went in that first liquor store and you see all the prices of the vodka and they got these giant bottles of vodka for like twenty dollars. And then we finally go into a liquor store that has organic. And you see these prices, good deal, good deal, and then you get to organic and you're like, oh, oh okay, uh, that's quite a bit more. But, you know, sometimes you're willing to pay that much for organic, and then sometimes you're not or you can't because you don't have the budget for it. So Right. But for vanilla extract, we wanted it to be organic. Well, it's not. It's just, We're going to make a lot of different extracts. I'm going to make lemon extract yeah. and probably a few other things out of all out of this. I personally would have liked to have bought two or three of these so we don't have to go back in there for a long time. I so wish Walmart had it. Yeah, they don't. I'd much rather go they, in there and, well and deal them. with uh, Walmart people. See, they need to not sell it as liquor and label it something else so then they could sell it. So it could be called like uh, extract suspension fluid. Yeah. And it would come in a bottle. Organic extract suspension fluid. And for, ho for homesteaders. Mommy, yeah. <laughs> All right, I am finally getting around to making this vanilla extract. I've had these beans for quite a while. Got the organic vodka, got the organic vanilla beans, and I'm just going to slice them down the middle and put them in. 
and then I will shake it up and let it sit in a dark place for about a few weeks to a couple months and then I'll start using it and then I will continue to add more vodka as I use it to replace it. All right, so I have a hard time believing this is this easy. So you just have to get the vodka and you get your vanilla beans and you split the vanilla beans in half and put them in there and that's it? That's what it says online. Everybody's doing it. That's what they're selling for a fortune at a store? Is this bean soaked in vodka? That's what it is. I can already tell. It looks like it's turning like a, a little bit of a color down there near the bottom. Yeah, hopefully it gets real dark. Careful. Woo. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already starting to turn like a light brown color in this area in there. Don't you dare. Woo. And that vodka smells like nail polish. Woo. That is strong. Look at that. Roll that beautiful bean footage. And then you just put it in a dark spot in your cabinet for a few weeks and you're good to go. Vanilla extract. Who would think that something so expensive could be so easy? Well, buying the alcohol wasn't easy. So this was the one that we had for, uh, gotten from Azure and it was 16 ounces. And I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was pretty darn pricey. Now I'm going to go back and snip what's uh, sticking up above the liquid. And then um, you want to wait at least two weeks before you use it. But most people like to wait six weeks before using it. We'll see. We'll probably, we'll probably, we'll probably wait six weeks. No, we'll probably test it out in two if I need it. I mean, if I need it, I'm going to grab it as long as I don't think it's like straight alcohol. Okay. That looks good. That's good. They're all submerged. Give it another little shake and put it away until we need it. And you're supposed to put it away in a cool, dark place, well, right? Well, just in a dark place. Yeah. In a dark place. So you're going to put it in the pantry. ta -da. Goodbye. Simple. All right. So that's it. Homemade Villa Extract and uh, organic yummy good those vanilla beans man they smelled so good and so strong you could smell them right through the plastic it was they smelled amazing mm -hmm. matter of fact what'd you do with that piece of plastic we shouldn't throw it away we should like stick it in the van somewhere 